Hi guys, here's a quick tutorial on using Jekyll but with Muffin. Now Jekyll is a massive um, kind of software framework thingy that you can use to make static blogs, static websites and it's really really useful. So what you're going to do is download Blueberry Muffin because it has a Jekyll framework or Jekyll layout, sorry. Um, extract it. And let's go to the command line or terminal and cd into the directory. So cd blueberry and hit gem file. Oh, no, sorry, bundle to install all the necessary gems, which will take a while. So, what else does that? I'll explain what all these folders are. So, all these folders are what's needed for, well, not necessarily needed, but what Jekyll kind of uses to make the static site. So here are the posts, so if you're making a blog, all the posts go in here. If you're using um, layout, which you have to use, layout goes here. And any kind of HTML includes or stuff go here. So I think everything's installed. So to run Jekyll, simply type in Jekyll, hit enter. And we have a local server on port 4000. Now once this is compiled, Jekyll makes a new folder called underscore site. Everything with an underscore is ignored by Jekyll, so if I go into site, you won't see posts, layouts, or includes. And if you use an FTP, you push all these folders and not any of these because all these are just extra. Okay, so let's go to localhost 4000, and voila, we have Blueberry Muffin. Okay, so now let's start editing stuff. I'm going to go through using Jekyll using this um, tutorial from NetTouch, which is quite helpful. So if you want more information, just click on this link, if you can remember it, which you probably won't. But anyway, let's continue. Um, Sublime, folder, right. So let's look at layout file. So the layout file is basically the framework, I don't know what word to use, but all the content goes here. So everything in index.html, all this, is basically pushed here once it's rendered. So the title of the page goes here, my website name, change to Jekyll tutorial. At the moment it's home page, but let's just call it main page. Save, go to here, refresh, and it's changed to main page, Jekyll tutorial. Right, so let's use Jekyll to start making a blog. Um, let's go back to this tutorial and grab some of the content. So this is what we're going to grab. This is a basic Jekyll for loop which will um, make sections and links for the blog. So I replace this, that. Okay, indent. And this is for a photography website, so it has all the stuff to do with images and portfolio, which we're not going to use. So we call it my blog. Okay, images, so I have any images, so let's get rid of that. And this is where the title will go. And this is the for loop. So let's make a blog entry. To do that, open up the post, and you can see here it has to be in the year, month, day, title format. So let's make our first post. Save, and today's date, 2013, year, month, February, day, 8th. Entitled first post. MD. MD stands for markdown. You can, of course, do HTML if you want, but markdown is a lot quicker. Okay, so let's go this. Now these three dashes are where all the Jekyll code goes and this is where your custom code goes. So copy that, paste it here and we first of all we need a layout. Remember we only have one layout which is default so we'll use that. Okay and we need a title. First post and anything 
can go here. So some cool content. Content. Okay, so that's done. And that's the for loop. So let's have a look at what happened. Go here. Ref not here. Sorry. Refresh page, and there we have it. Our first post, which links to some cool content. Now let's say you want the title of the post to go up here. Um, of course, we don't want to use the same layout. We want to use a different one, but based on this layout. So let's make a new one. Um, let's call it post page. Post underscore page dot html, and save it in the layouts folder. Right. So we want this to inherit the default. Do that. And I'll go back to this tutorial because I've forgotten what it was. Da -da 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 -da. Whoops, gone too far down. Alright, here we go. So they've done just the page title, the image and the content. But we don't have an image. So we'll just use page title and the content to so save that. And now we need to change the layout from default to post underscore page. Save that. And then refresh. And then have it in the title. So from there you can style, add background colors, whatnot. Let's add another post. New file. Um, just copy and paste it because I'm being lazy. Second post. Some more cool content. And let's change the date to 2013. Dash. 2 dash actually 03 dash 10 dot oh second post dot md there's an equals there which doesn't need to be there save and then let's go back refresh second post some local content now let's see what Jekyll's done in this site folder so what you can see here is it's made a folder for the year and this makes folders for the month and then the page goes here which is pretty cool so there you have it, a quick overview to making a static blog in Jekyll hope that was helpful thanks and make sure to check out all the other cool stuff with Muffin as well in other videos thanks for watching, bye